Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a video today that will show you when you are working with values and you want to check if in one of your columns an item is equal to one out of a selection of items. I'm going to show you an easy way on how to consolidate that statement so it's easy to maintain and check. So it will prevent you from having all these loose statements and actually puts it in a single short statement. So stay tuned. So the data set that we're going to look at to test this is this one. It's a data set that contains the full names of people. Now let's say that we were interested in, for example, everything that we have here, let's say five different names. So we could select, we have Alec, Ellen Beach, Amir Gill, and Aristotle. If you click OK, you can look at the formula that's been generated in the top here. So it's checking whether the full name is equal to a person, and then it continues to copy the code, or the full name is equal to this one, or the full name is equal to Amir Gill. And the more people you add, the more times this part of the statement here is going to be replicated. So instead, instead of doing this, we could make it, our lives a little bit easier. So in this example, we could just start right here and start with the formula that is called list contains. And normally you would look into a list, which could, for example, be your full column and check whether one item is in there, but we're going to change it around. So you're going to open a curly bracket and now we're going to take away all of these dark texts and we're only going to keep what we're checking for. So we're checking for Alec House. There is Ellen Beach. Uh, let's see, so we can delete this part as well. And we separate everything by commas. We have another comma here. Okay, so the first argument of list contains wants you to provide a list and your list is indicated by the curly bracket. Then you have all the items comma separated and we end our curly bracket right here to indicate that this is the end of our list. Then you write a comma and we're going to provide this uh, list showing what we need to check it with. So in this case, we need to check it with a column that's called full name. Now, let's, let me just show it right here. On the previous step, we had all of these names and the column was called full name. And we now filtered it down by an easy list contains formula. To show you a little easier, let's space this out to the next, uh, the next line. So we do shift enter, and you can see that the entire list that we're checking for is simply this item here. So it prevents clutter and it makes it easier to, uh, to check whether everything is in here. Of course, instead of writing this by heart, you could also add a table and simply reference a column name in that table as a list. But as you can see, this makes it easier. What you can also use this for you can copy this code and instead of filtering here on uh, which rows you want to return, we could copy this, create a custom column on the previous one, and we could make an if condition out of this. So we could, for example, say, if the list contains one of these items, then return, for example, A, and else you return a couple of Bs. Now, if you press OK, as you can see, when I scroll down, there are some items here that match. And this makes it very easy to remove the clutter and just get you a clearer query. Behind the scenes, the same is happening. The performance is great and uh, it's good to maintain. Now, a downside of this is if we're looking at this and we're, for example, watching if Wallace is in here, let's take out this entire list of items, except the last one. So we have Aristotle ball is left, it's this item. So if the full name is here, it matches. So we're looking at an exact match. But if I would now just write the name Wallace here, it's the first item in our list, and I press OK, then you'll see that it doesn't find it. So do remember that this method, even though it says contains, this method needs you to have an exact match. So Wallace Dotson, now it's working. Now, if you're curious about matching uh, an item that contains one of these words, then wait out for my next video because I will show you exactly how that works. Thanks for watching. That was the method for today. I hope that brought you value. And if it did, 
It would support me a lot by liking my video and subscribing. And if you're curious about how you can also match partial parts, so if you have a list contains and you would also want to find just the first name, then make sure you check out my next video because next time I'll be showing how to do just that.